Okay. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's snapping a little quicker because I disconnected it from the capacitors. So that it doesn't need to uh, charge up the capacitors anymore. This is just the static charge coming from the Wimhurst. So you can hear it snapping a little quicker. I have a couple of these test leads and I just had to do it. I had to uh, just wrap a couple test leads around it so I have roughly four I'd say almost pretty well five it starts there and ends there no no either way you look at it, it's still four so I'd say four wraps going into a full bridge rectifier from the full wave bridge rectifier going into a capacitor. Now this is a mica capacitor. It's not a polarized capacitor. It's it's good for real high high voltage. I wasn't really quite sure what I was going to be looking at here, but it turns out that the uh, voltage is not super impressive right now. It seems to be getting spikes of up to 1.4 volts but I think the uh, voltmeter is sucking the voltage just as fast as uh, as it's producing the voltage in the capacitor because the volt voltmeter will actually uh, drain drain voltage plus the uh, full wave bridge rectifier has diodes that have uh, 0 0.7 0 0.7 of a volt per diode in it and considering that's good for uh, 600 volts I'm not sure exactly what the voltage drop would be across that I don't think it's just four diodes I think it might be diodes in parallel too so the uh, full wave bridge rectifier obviously could be taking a fair amount of the voltage away from it also due to uh, the drop of the diode so seeing this voltage is something to think about it is uh, it is a DC voltage obviously now I'm rectifying it and with the capacitor I'm filtering it so it should be pretty close to a DC uh, voltage but four turns is obviously not enough I'm going to have to have uh, quite a few more turns so again this is another step in the series I'm understanding that uh, having it not going through the capacitors and just using the uh, static charge from the Wimhurst is giving me a quicker uh, discharge on my spark gap it's obviously a lot fainter it's not going to be as abrupt of a discharge but uh, it is showing promise and it is showing a voltage so what this means to me is that uh, I need more wraps on the coil for my secondary to boost my voltage and knowing that 
I can move forward. I'm glad that I did do this quick little experiment where uh, I just grabbed a full wave bridge rectifier and grabbed a quick capacitor and and took some measurements so now I know I need a lot more turns on the secondary and obviously I have the other coil that I can do the same thing I can put turns on that and parallel it with the uh, on the bridge rectifier or have two separate bridge rectifiers two separate all together circuits with two uh, capacitors charging but uh, considering it's just been one day it's uh, been a pretty good day everybody have a great night cheers <laughs>